This video is presented to you by Game Changers, part of the Game Changer Network. Now, I did get the exclusive chance to go to Germany and capture this early content for you guys to enjoy, courtesy of EA Sports and the Game Changer Network. So, guys, let's just get into it. How's it going, lads? Marshall here, and welcome, welcome to another review on the channel. And today we have an icon by the name of Stoichkov. Of course, it's Stoichkov's turn. You guys have been requesting it, so lads, if you are looking forward to FIFA 19 coming out either tonight or tomorrow on EA Access, and by the way, I will be reviewing the cheaper players once that does come out. You know what to do. Smash a like on this video. Let's aim for a thousand likes of Stoichkov and possibly the best goal I will score all year. So, lads, in terms of the team, it's a 4-2-4 formation, very overpowered on this game, especially towards the latter ends of the games, where uh, some people are losing stamina. At the back we've got Courtois, Valencia, Varane, Umtiti, Roberto Carlos, Sissoko is in midfield, a very overpowered card this year. Popper is there as well, we have Salah and Son on the wings in a 4-2-4 formation. Gabriel Jesus at striker, alongside Stoichko, so lads. I'm looking forward to this one as well. Let's get into the review. So here we go. Now with Stoichkov, it's kind of hard to predict the value of this card because his stats are phenomenal. But with that, he's got a three-star weak foot. Now the weak foot does kind of destroy the card in some senses of the word because you want to move it to that left foot every single time because he's Van Persie-esque. He's Adriano of Persie-esque. With that left foot, it is golden. It's like a bloody wand. It really is. Four-star skills, magical for the card. I mean, he can perform a number of different skills on this game. And with the aggression that he's got, with the strength that he's got, he can hold players off while doing the skills. Medium to medium work rates, and he is 5 foot 10 tall. In terms of his in-game stats, as you're about to see, you'll be blown away. You will literally be blown away. They are that good on this game. Look at these. Go up at them. Look at them. Take a butchers at them. They are outstanding. From the pace of 92, 93 acceleration, 91 sprint speed, plus 5, it's 96. Crazy. In terms of the attack position, it's 92. The finishing is 94. The shot power is 92. Long shots, 92. Volleys, 92 plus 5. On that 92 penalty, some of the best shooting stats I've seen on this game. Hands down, the passing stats are incredible. The dribbling, again, sensational. From the agility of 90 to the, the reactions, to the ball control, to the dribbling of 93. Look at the strength. It's 84. 3 plus 5 and the aggression is 93 comes out of the ball in 50 50 situations more often than not and this is the goal i'm talking about the goal i was just talking about all capture event because it was that good stoichkov plays off to gabriel jesus a great ball out to salah cuts inside i get very lucky here very fortunate the ball bounces there's no words. There's literally no words. How can you describe that apart from magnificent, sublime, bloody amazing? <laughs> That's how I'd sort of describe it. But um, yeah, it's, it just took the words right out of my mouth, man. Such a great goal from Stoichkov. And those are the situations FIFA 19 can present. Errors, errors like that in defense and goals like that, sublime goals. And that one from Stoichkov. Just look at the way he took it as well. This is on his stronger foot. The, well, is that? Yeah, that's the left foot. I just I had to like move my head around there just to guess. But uh, that was on his stronger left foot. And it's just a magnificent volley. So volleys have to be a, well, one of the number one pros of this card. It's that good on the card. I came close to scoring another bicycle kick with this card as well. And seeing me go through with Stoichkov. Over. Look at this finish. Why wow, it stops the ball, he gets oh, it's not the finish I'm on about, but it's a nice little goal. And so, once uh, if you've got a player on the line like that on this game, by the way, you've got to shoot towards the corner because if you don't, they will they'll block it basically. They'll block it if you don't shoot towards the corner, just let the shot just go manually. It's um, it will be blocked on the line. This is a goal from Stoichkov in this game, and this is Stoichkov winning the ball back. Valencia, Sissoko into Stoichkov, he plays it very luckily off a man, then goes to the one two. This one two is incredible. Look at that through the stage cup and that's the goal I'm talking about first time for this near post beats the keeper the kill on point the shot power on point the long shots on point you get what I'm saying finishing on bloody point it was that good from Stoichkov. Look at the bend on that. You'll see it on the second angle, I do believe. This one coming in. Gabriel Jesus does very well. Plays in a Stoichkov. Look at the bend on this. This is incredible. Round the goalkeeper. That's a very hard technique to do on any FIFA game. And it's able to do it on this game. Stoichkov is one of the best finishes that I used at the capture event. Because he is that good in front of goal. And it's a great dribbler on this game. Dribbling has to be a pro with this card. Because he's very aggressive in the dribble. He puts his head down. He gets through it. And he just walks through players. Look at this inside the area, turns inside and uh, just get very unlucky. If that shot beats the defender, that's a goal every single day of the week. In terms of the pros, then we have the shot power. It's uh, 
It's so, it's so good. It's so good. With that left peg, it is unbloody believable. The bullies, you've seen some bicycle kicks. You'll probably see another attempted one here off the crossbar. And Pogba does put it in. But um, yeah, he's just great for the goal. Bollies finishing, etc, etc. Long shots. He's just fantastic at them. As Pogba goes into his trademark celebration, the power on this card, in terms of the aggression, the strength, the power is there. It is there and he is very strong on this game. Despite his lack of height, I know he's 5 foot 10. Not the tallest in the world. Look at that for a fake shot. Fantastic. Stands up at the back post and Salah heads in. Another great creative goal there from Stoichkov. The passing is on point. The pace is ridiculous at times. And the only con I've got with the card, the only gripe, is that freestyle weak foot. It's not great and it does go against the card in a number of different ways. Especially if you're running through, you've got it on the right hand side. You want to cut it back on the left every single time. So in terms of an overall rate with Stoichkov, he well, I enjoyed this card, I enjoyed this card a lot, and he provided one of the most memorable kind of goals for me at the capture event, if not the most memorable goal. So in terms of the overall rating, he's going to get a rating of a 9.3, an outstanding rating for an outstanding card. It's a very good card in this game, value coins NA because nobody knows the market as of yet, because it could come out today. Or tomorrow, enjoyment rate 9.5, a fantastic card, I really did enjoy this card. I mean, the bicycle kit that he scored, the, the finesse that he scored, and uh, you just seen a couple of goals by the way, I didn't include all of them in this review, you just seen a couple, he scored a lot of rebounds as well, so his positioning was on point as well, despite the medium to medium work rates. Foot champs ready? Definitely, this guy would be fantastic in foot champs, the similar players, I've only got the one because he's like an upgrade, a very good upgrade of Gareth Bale, Gareth Bale's quite strong in this game, I reckon he's an upgrade of Gareth Bale on this uh, on this game in general. The key pro is the power, the key con is the freestyle weak foot, and the best chem style is engine for the card, in my opinion anyway, because his stats are already phenomenal. They are that good on this game. In terms of the best players, he comes in at number number five right now, ahead of Messi, ahead of Socrates, ahead of Mbappe, Bill, and Salah, and behind Neymar, just behind Neymar in terms of enjoyment. Neymar, I think his enjoyment was 9.6 and Stoichkov's 9.5, so they were very close in terms of the enjoyment, and of course, they did get the exact same rating of a 9.3. Eusebio's there, Cristiano Ronaldo's there, and Cruyff, Leading the way right now. And lads, I hope you're excited. FIFA 19 is out tonight or tomorrow. It's it's coming, lads. It's coming. The web app is out today. I'm looking forward to it so much. I'm very, very excited. I hope you guys are excited as well. And if you are, smash a like on this review. I hope you have enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. And as always, lads, I will catch you all next time.